Hey photographer, Jessica Whitaker here. And in this video, we are going to be doing a simple practical review on my favorite zoom lens. It's budget friendly. It's the Canon 24 to 105 F4 zoom lens. There's two versions of this lens. There's an older version and a newer version. I have the older and so that's what I'm going to be reviewing. This is my favorite lens to use in ceremony shots for wedding photography. You can use this for a number of other things, maybe landscape photography, but I'm gonna be really speaking to my wedding photographers who want to purchase a zoom lens for their kit. This has been a topic floating around in my Build and Bloom Photography Facebook group. I've shared it in the group and I wanna share it with you here on YouTube. I wanna thank our sponsor, KEH Camera, for making this video possible. KEH is where you can buy and sell camera lenses and it's where I've purchased a lot of my photography gear. It's also more sustainable on the environment since you're purchasing secondhand. We'll talk about them later on. It's definitely not the most fun lens you could have. It only goes down to 4.0, which is one of the specs. So this is not, in my opinion, something that I would pull out and use for portrait photography, but because it can get as wide as 24 millimeters in as close up to 105, this is perfect for ceremony shots. And in ceremony shots, I don't need my aperture to be all the way open at 1.8. If I'm going to be going for that aperture, that shallow depth of field, the blurrier background, then I'm gonna be using one of my prime lenses. But with ceremonies, sometimes I do want a bit of distance between myself and the altar, or I might be limited on the range. So this is fantastic. This lens is heavy, it's about a pound and a half, and it's also quite bulky both in diameter and in length so this is not going to be a lens that you're going to pop on your camera and take around downtown casual photos with your friends or on holiday to me this is a lens i strictly use in very particular images like wedding ceremonies to me it's not something super versatile where i can also use it for portraits and product photography because Personally, I like to have a more shallow depth of field. That means a blurrier background, a smaller number. So like 1.8, 1.4, 1.2 versus 4.0. And if you're kind of confused on all of those numbers, I have a video that walks you through how to use manual mode on a digital camera in the simplest way possible because I teach to beginners. I wanna make sure that all of my videos are very accessible and easy to understand and from a practical perspective rather than overly technical because that doesn't help many people unless you already know the technical jargon. So for me, I'm not going to throw this on my camera and use it on holiday. I'm gonna opt for probably a prime lens and I have lots of reviews on my favorite holiday lenses. On this lens, there is image stabilization and you actually turn it on and off on the lens itself. Above image stabilization on the lens, you also have autofocus and manual focus. Let's move into the focusing. Autofocus is really sharp on this lens. I would say that it's sharper than my Canon 50 1.2 or 1.4 lens. It's fantastic. Manual focus is pretty good. It's not razor sharp. I would say the autofocus is definitely much better. Focusing speed is pretty fast. In lower light, it's going to be a bit slower. But during a ceremony when you have a lot happening, people are moving around at the altar, you'll be able to nail the focus, no problem. In terms of lens distortion, no problem. You're gonna get a little bit, but it's nothing as severe as maybe the Sigma 35 or even the Canon 50. I think that it's fine. And lens distortion basically means that the corners of your image are a bit rounded and you go into uh, Lightroom or Photoshop and you're going to click a setting that says, fix lens distortion and it will pop those edges right out and kind of flatten the image. 
But with this, you're not gonna see a major difference, which is good. Overall, I think that this lens is really good value. You can get it for $500 or less if you buy it used. Now, even though it's an older lens, there still are listings on Amazon that say you can buy it new and it's running for about $900, $800 even though it's out of production. They're still considered new, but you're gonna wanna buy used on this. Honestly, with any purchase, when it comes to lenses or camera bodies, there's no reason not to purchase used as long as you're going to a reliable source. And that source is KEH Camera. They are sponsoring this video, but I was purchasing from them before I even had the opportunity to be partnered with them. KEH Camera is where you can buy and sell your camera gear, both film and digital. And what's awesome about them is everything is quality inspected so you know exactly what you are going to be putting your money towards unlike Facebook marketplace or a random Instagram story you were forwarded you don't know exactly if that lens has been dunked in the water out in the rain you don't really know what the condition is until you buy it and you use it, and you don't have buyer or seller protection in those areas. But with KEH, because everything's quality inspected, you'll actually be able to see every listing is rated. So it will be good, excellent, there's even bargain. You'll have so much more confidence and protection as a buyer. A big misconception about buying used camera equipment is that it's damaged. Chances are though, it's just been sitting in somebody's closet collecting dust and they want to make some cash to put towards another purchase for their photography, which is something you can do as well. So if you have an old lens that you barely use anymore, maybe you upgraded from the 51.8 to the 51.4, go ahead and sell it on KEH. You can get cash for it or you can put it towards a new purchase on the site. I love KEH. I'll have them linked down below as well as a 5% off coupon code. Just use code JESS1 at checkout. And the best part is it's so much better on the environment. If you're interested in more budget friendly camera lenses, I'm going to have my video that I did a few months ago with KEH as well on the iCard here where I included this lens and a few others. I'm curious to know what your preferred zoom lens is down below. Be sure to hit subscribe to receive a new photography tutorial for free in your inbox every single week. You can also find me over on Instagram at Jessica Whitaker for daily tips, tools, and resources to help grow your photography business. And if you're looking to join a kind, encouraging, and inclusive photography community, be sure to check out Build and Bloom on Facebook groups. It's free to join and I would love to see you in the group. You can also listen to the Build and Bloom Photography business podcast on your preferred podcast platform. And if you like the way that I teach on YouTube, you'll love my online photography business masterclass where I teach you how to start and scale a photography business in your own backyard in six hours. There's worksheets, downloads, PDFs, you get lifetime access and you can always refer back to the videos after you've completed it. I believe in you and I believe in your business and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.